So question two, we've got this graph, and the first one we need to, well, the f of x minus two, that's going to translate it two places to the right. And then there's a three in front of it as well. So we're going to stretch it times by three as well. So this point here, first of all, moving it two to the right is going to be at two, three, and then making it three times higher. So it's all the way up here at two, nine is that first point the top of my page there now this one here at minus one four move it two to the right moves it to one four and then times by three it's all the way up there at one twelve and this point here was at minus two so move it two places to the right there and then three times higher well three times higher than zero is still at zero isn't it so this graph is going all the way up to there and then all the way down and again, it doesn't quite reach the axis at the bottom there. So there's the first one. Um, second one is a half f of a half x. So I've got two stretches going on this time. First of all, this stretch here is going to times everything by two in the x direction. And this stretch here, it means everything's going to be as half as high. So the original one looked like this, didn't it? It was originally crossing through there at three. Well, stretching it half in the X, times by two in the X direction can't change it, but it's now going to be half as high. So I'm going to put this point here at 1.5. This point here was at minus one, four. So now it's uh, two times further away. So it's at minus two and half as high. So I've got minus two, two there. And this point here was originally at minus two. So now it's going to be down here at minus four. And my graph is going to look something like 